Team Panesh by Stephen, Faith, Brianna, Alex, and Chelsea. Camp Mammoth. Camp Mammoth is a place where teenagers go in the summer to learn important life skills while living in a fun environment with their peers. Campers stay in a small resort in the woods for five weeks, organized into teams and tasks of challenges made to build their skills in leadership, teamwork, organization, and resource management. Their teams compete at different activities, and the campers are required to use these skills to help their team come out on top at the end of the five-week camp. There are six teams competing for first place this year. The winning team will be treated to a chocolate party, among other prizes. Team Panesh is in sixth place at the end of the first week. They just voted out Nick and elected Josie as their new team captain. After Nick failed to effectively organize the team to one win during the week, Josie is taken on the role, determined to lead Team Panesh to victory with the help of her vice captain, Charlotte, and her friend, Carl. Team Panesh Characters The main four characters of this story are Josie, Charlotte, Carl, and Nick. Josie. As team captain, she knows she has a lot of work to do in organizing the team, motivating them, and optimizing the skills of each team member. Her focus is squarely on getting the team to first place at the end of the five-week camp. Josie is a level-headed thinker and is quick to handle disagreement. She's a leader who excels in situations that require improvisation and likes to make decisions fast. This trait is sometimes problematic as she tends to restrict the planning and decision-making for the team to her circle of leaders, herself, Charlotte, and Nick. Charlotte. As the vice captain, she has worked with the former captain, Nick, and she is happy to have a new captain who cares about the team and is ready to work with her. Quick to get agitated and speak up on another's behalf, Charlotte is smart, empathetic, and has proven herself as a leader who listens. She's usually the person on the leadership team who speaks up for other people on the team. She's always seeking to carry the whole team along in the process of working towards their set goal. Charlotte is an innovative thinker, but doesn't take criticism too well, part of the reason for her uneasy relationship with Nick, the former team captain. Carl, friend of Josie and Charlotte, he has taken on the unofficial role of supporting leader, helping them in their bid to lead the team to first place. An important member of the team because he is a talented leader who has the ability to make people want to follow his lead. Despite being a talented leader, Carl takes more of a backseat approach, only speaking or taking on a management responsibility when necessary. Nick. As a former team captain, Nick is unhappy he was voted out, so he likes to mount resistance to the new leaders. But he also wants the team to win, so he eventually goes with their plans. Josie, Charlotte, and Carl often make decisions by looking at what he did wrong. He's results-oriented, charismatic, and passionate about success. However, his ambition clouds his judgment at times, making him see everything as his responsibility and no one else's. He's very opinionated and can be a micromanager at times. Nick still has some influence in the team, so he's capable of effectively undermining Josie. Episode 1, A Strategic Management Process, Setting Direction Josie and Charlotte have called for a general meeting of Team Panesh campers. The main goal of this move is to set the direction up for the team, draw a plan, and outline the duties and responsibilities of campers within the team. Josie is the newly elected team captain, and she has made it clear to everyone that they all need to work together to reach first place by the end of camp. After outlining goals and possible steps that could help them along, Nick, who was recently voted out of the position of captain, voices out his disagreement with Josie's plan. He does not believe Josie and Charlotte are giving the right duties to the right people and thinks he can do a better job of directing the team without an elaborate plan. Josie has to confront him and convince the team to trust her as their leader. Episode two, competitive advantage, differentiation, resource management. The deadline for the team's building project is a few days away. The task is to build a common room for the team using materials provided by the administration. Josie goes to inspect the materials collected by the team under Nick and discovers that Nick picked out materials that are suited for making a tent-style common room, like teams have always made at Camp Mammoth.
Charlotte observes that there are three campers on the team who have experience with woodwork, and that Team Panache can leverage their expertise to build a structure that is different and better than those of the other campers. Josie seizes on this as an opportunity to help Team Panache to a major win and sets about a meeting with camp instructors for advice on how to proceed. One instructor, Jane, suggests merging woodwork with tent style building. Charlotte advises Josie to let the campers who do woodwork coordinate the building process while she oversees the project. Episode 3 Managerial Roles Leader, Monitor, Disturbance Handler, Organizational Structure, and Design Informalization Team Panesh won the Building Project Challenge, and that win moved them up from 6th place to 2nd place. But they are being held back from the lead because the male campers on Team Panesh are having trouble keeping their dorm clean. They have been losing points for the state of the rooms that they sleep in. Carl recognizes this as a serious threat to the goals they have set as a team. Since the other members of the team do not see the uncut state of their dorms as a problem, Josie is not here to take charge, so Carl must step in and keep the team in line. Episode 4, Human Resource Management, Planning Tactical Plans. Team Panache was dropped some points after some campers on the team were caught sneaking away during a general camper's briefing. The instructor who caught them called Josie and Charlotte to let them know that the administration will take some disciplinary measures in addition to taking off some points. When Carl finds out, he reassures Josie and Charlotte that the team can bounce back since there are sports events coming up. After delivering the bad news to the entire team, Josie, Charlotte, and Carl must motivate the team to stay positive and focus on the sports events coming up. First up is Rowan. When it is time to nominate potential leaders for the activity, Carl picks Nick to everyone's surprise. Episode 5 Managerial Roles, Ceremonial, Disturbance Handler, Managing Diverse Human Resources. Camp Mammoth is expecting important guests in a few days. Team captains from all the teams are charged with forming a welcoming committee as well as making sure everything is running smoothly with their individual groups. Josie has been put in charge of the committee in addition to her responsibilities as captain of Team Panesh. Disagreement breaks out among some of the team captains over how the meeting hall should be set up. Josie must step up and figure out a way to resolve the conflict. Episode 6 Planning and Organizing job design. For this week's activity, Team Panesh will race against other teams by kayaking down the river stream. Teams are given a map of their current location and the respective team's destination. There are jobs to which the team is supposed to break down for the competition. One job is to guide the team by using a map, two jobs are to paddle, and the last job is the one in the back that directs the kayak with the turns. Josie assigns the roles. Josie will get the map, Carl and Nick paddle, and Charlotte will be the one to work the back and turn. All is going well for a few minutes, until Josie seems uncertain about the direction she's telling them. And even when she does, Charlotte struggles with the turning. Nick and Carl are doing the very best they can and notice an ongoing issue. And Nick brings it to the team's attention that maybe the job should be reorganized that will suit everyone's strength. Josie hates to admit, but Nick's right. At this rate, Team Panache won't be able to have the awesome chocolate party. Charlotte points out that she's uncomfortable on the back end. So Josie gets the team together and comes up with a solution. Job design. Everyone's jobs are going to be restructured that suits to their strengths. Nick agrees to steer. Charlotte has a history with maps and is comfortable with guiding everyone. Josie takes a paddle and Carl will be the reliever. He will jump in and rotate with the other jobs because he is comfortable with paddling and using maps. 
Now that the jobs are restructured, everything is flowing smoothly. Efficiently, the taste of chocolate is just on their taste buds. Episode 7 The Finale In the end, Team Panache proved to be successful under the leadership of Captain Josie and Vice Captain Charlotte. With the support of the rest of the team, including Nick, they came in first place in the competition. After winning, Team Panache took the time to think about what they have learned about management so far.